the roaring arabian sea a fishing village called anjitengal on india's southwestern coast a sprawling stone fort period the second decade of the 18th century anjitengal fort on the outskirts of tiruvananthapuram was english east india company's second largest commercial fortress after bombay it was when east india company was driven only by commercial interests and much much before they established political hegemony in india the english were given permission and also the monopoly to buy pepper by the queen of artingal she wanted to clip the wings of the increasing power of the dutch but the english based themselves at the fort unleashed a reign of terror corruption and assault on the local people hindus and muslims of the region equally met with insults from the english unable to bear any longer the people of anjadeng and attingal were waiting for a chance to hit back some of their two little pillars the feudal lords organized the angry people april 14 1721 the east india company's local head william guyford accompanied by 140 soldiers and 30 slaves were sailing on a boat through the vamanapuram river they were going to meet the queen to present her with gifts and tributes but once the company party was inside the palace they were subjected to a surprise massive assault the hours long battle left not a single english man alive vamanapuram river turned red with the dead bodies of the english guy ford who had most rebuked the people was tied to a log with his tongue scourged out and hurled into the river soon the anjitenga fortress too was conquered by the people this had happened 36 years before the plassey war that established english power in india and 136 years before india's first war of independence the historic moment when ordinary people of india joined hands above all differences and brought the far better equipped invader to the knees